What is up guys? We are back with another sports game recap covering the Chicago Bulls, my favorite NBA basketball team. I'm so excited right now to be covering this latest game guys because we went off on the Indiana Pacers. Yep, that's right. We went off tonight. We got the Dove, which that's what matters, 119 to 107. And the best part about it, Lori Markin, man, he went off today. He had 32 points, which was a career high. And get this, so the last time a Bulls rookie had 30 or more points in a game was not only Derek Rose in 2009, which coincidentally the 2008-2009 season is actually the first year that I started watching Bulls basketball. So I became a basketball fan ever since I went to my first uh, basketball game which was Bulls and Warriors and I still never forgot the date it was uh, November 21st 2008 and Laurie Markin he did that on 11 of 17 shooting also not only Nikola Meritage had another phenomenal game I am just loving the way this guy is playing basketball and it, if the Chicago Bulls organization sees this video I want you guys to know please do not trade Nico like, I do not want him traded. I really like this group, this team that we got going on right now. So I don't want Gar Foreman to mess with this group. Just like how, you know, trading away Jimmy Butler. So Nicola, he had eight threes tonight, 10 of 20 field goal percentage. But the big thing, 28 points. He did that in 27 minutes. So, there, so in that span, just phenomenal basketball. Lori Markin and Nikola Meritage combined for 60 points right now. The Bulls are the hottest team in the NBA. That's right. Hottest team in the NBA. How many people would have said that when we were 3-20? and 20? How many people doubted us? How many people thought we weren't going to go nowhere this season? So with that latest victory, guys, having won 10 out of 12 games, that puts us now 5 games out of a playoff spot. Only 5 games, so we are going to be getting there. And just got some good quotes, guys, that from the game tonight that I'm going to read to you. So we got uh, Fred Hoiberg, Bulls coach on Nikola Meritage. He's just so confident right now. And I really, truly believe that's rubbing off on our entire team. So when I look at this quote, man, I mean, it speaks for itself. When, when one guy's confidence is rubbing off on another player's confidence level, that's the best thing we can do. And honestly, as not just in sports but in life if you are confident and you have confidence uh, no matter what the circumstances are uh, no matter what situation you're in always be positive and confident and that'll rub off on other people and that will make other people want to be around you so that's a big one we got uh, another good quote from Denzel Valentine he said we want to try to compete and do whatever we can I don't know what our ceiling is if we just focus on, like Fred said, just winning every day, then we can get to the point where we're talking playoffs and everything. We just got to attack every day. So I love this quote a lot. There's so much that we can take out of this quote. But the big one for me is just winning every day. Because we, we really, you know, the old cliche, as cliche it is, but you really got to take it one game at a time. You know, the Bulls right now, I mean, look, we're 12 and 22, but we've won 10 out of 12. So, I mean, we still got a ways to go. But again, like Valentine said, if you attack every day and, you know, when he says attack, I think he means everything from the preparation. So everything that goes, you know, uh, lifting weights, uh, watching film, just you know, getting prepared for the game and, you know, understanding your opponent and what it's going to take to win. So, guys, it's been awesome. It's been phenomenal to see this recent string of success. Unfortunately, I did not get to see the game live. Uh, I live out here in the Bay Area, so I do not have NBA League Pass as of yet. And, uh, you know, that'll be coming in the future. But so I really only get to see the games when they're on WGN or locally televised. But seeing the way the Bulls have been playing lately, I'm feeling that there's going to be a lot more nationally televised games coming up. Look, guys, that's going to conclude this game recap, talking Bulls versus the Indiana Pacers, uh, all the latest Chicago Bulls news. 
I'm so excited to be sharing with you guys my perspective and you know leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about what we've been able to do recently and this recent string of success so if you like this video give a comment like subscribe more bulls and lots more sports game recaps and videos are going to be coming your way guys big shout out to at clan of the clouds he's a really good music producer if you guys are interested in getting any beats, hit me up and let me know.